In this video, I'll show you how to create a simple personal Kanban board to boost your productivity. For those who just want a quick access to the template, I've included the link in the description. If you want to learn how to create the template yourself, please stay tuned until the end. Let's start by creating a task in Pachi. I like to add start date and due date for my tasks. Task duration days and remaining days are crucial elements for effective productivity. You can choose to change the background color or not, it's up to you. I prefer a dark color background as it helps me see my sheet better at night. Let's make helper columns. We need to add a today date cell, so we can use it to calculate our task remaining days later. Let's add the status and priority in the helper columns to create drop-down lists for our task sheet. Status includes to do, ongoing, review, and done. For priority, I use high, medium, and low. Now select the priority column, then insert a drop-down. In the criteria, select drop-down from a range and then choose the range containing the priority options we created earlier. Change the color to make it look nicer. Repeat the same step for status columns. Now, add calendar date pickers to the start and due date columns by adding a new role in data validation with this valid date for criteria. You can customize the date format for a better visual appeal. Now, let's add some tasks. To calculate task duration, we can subtract the start date from due date. We can use the array formula, and if the start date column is blank, the result will be empty. Otherwise, the duration will be the result of subtracting the start date from the due date. Let's highlight task durations using conditional formatting. Tasks due in more than 7 days will be light green, while those with 7 days or less will be light peach. Using the same formula, to calculate the remaining days, you should subtract the current date from the due date. This will give you the number of days remaining until the due date. You can add highlighting to your remaining day column to visually indicate the urgency of tasks. Highlight tasks due in more than 7 days in green. Tasks due in less than or equal to 0 days in red. Tasks due in is between 0 and 7 days in light yellow. This will help you quickly identify tasks that require immediate attention. Now, let's make a monthly filter for our task sheet. To filter your tasks by month, you'll need to extract the month from the start date column. We can use the array formula and text function to convert the month number to text format.
Now, when we have the month names column, let's add a slicer from data. You can change the text and background color of the slicer. Everything looks good. Now, let's move on to creating the Kanban board. For the board, we can add a new sheet. You can use the same status options in your Kanban board as you defined in the task sheet. This will ensure consistency and easier management. Make sure to leave to empty columns next to each status column for priority and remaining dates. You can adjust the appearance and layout of the Kanban board to suit your preferences before adding the necessary formulas. You can resize the route to suit your need. Now, let's use the filter formula to filter tasks for each status column. Make sure filter our tasks in the task sheet based on the condition that the status in the task sheet matches the selected status in the Kanban board. Now, copy and paste the formula to the other task columns and adjust the status condition in each formula to match the corresponding status column. We can use the same formula for priority columns. You'll need to change the range that refers to the task names to the range that contains the priority values. Following the same steps for other columns, You can adjust the size of the Kanban board to fit your screen or preferences. This can help improve the overall appearance and readability of your board. Now let's highlight the priority status using conditional formatting. Please add new rows if the text contains low, medium, or high and change the background color accordingly. Following the same steps, apply conditional formatting to the remaining days column.
I like to set the text color to orange for tasks with less than 7 days remaining and red for overdue tasks. And green for non-urgent tasks. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe and turn on notifications to stay updated with more cool templates in the future. Thanks for watching! Your support encourages me to create more content.